Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Um, last uh, video we talked about some stuff. Uh, now we're going to be doing some more talking because I like talking to the camera. That's nice and fun. So um, today we're going to be talking about the different bundles in Wizard 101. Are any of them worth it? Should you buy them? Yes or no? And realistically, um, specifically right now because right now every single bundle is on sale so if you're it's christmas time maybe you have some christmas money or you're getting some christmas money and you want to spend it on some uh some wizard 101 bundles and you're like maybe should i buy this which one should i buy i don't know but basically um I'm going to be going over just about every bundle, wh which one's worth it, which one's not worth it, and kind of where you should go from there. Um, let me pull up the website. I just want to make sure I don't leak any of my info real quick, so just give me a second. Alright, this should be completely fine. I just wanted to make sure I didn't leak my username or anything, because that wouldn't be very fun. So, as you can see, um, all the bundles are here. If I scroll down, literally all of them um, are here from the beginning of time. And which ones, you know... And, and you're kind of probably asking, just like, which one should I buy? Because I don't know. Well, um, the answer is, it really depends on you. I don't think a lot of these won't have good armor or uh, weapons that you want. Um, some people might want something like, uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, the one I'm thinking of is the pet training bundle. I don't know where it is though. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, where is it? Where, where is it? It's somewhere here, right? Unless it's not here. <clears throat> I don't know why it wouldn't be. Is it not here? I was thinking the pet training bundle because it gives energy gear, but I guess not. Um, I think there's also a fishing bundle that gives energy gear. I don't know where that is, though. I don't know if both of those aren't here for some reason. I don't know why they wouldn't be here, but they're not. Um, yeah, oh wait, Mystic Fishing Bundle right here is what I was thinking, is, another, is the thing I was thinking of. I'm pretty sure that gives energy gear. So, at the very least, it gives fishing luck gear. Let, let, me, let me look it up real quick so I don't give you false info. Alright, I wasn't wrong, I didn't think I was wrong, but I just wanted to make sure. Um, you can buy um, the Mystic Fishing Bundle and it will give you energy gear. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend this one though, because not only is the pet, trainer, the pet trainer bundle more effective, but there's also more effective ways in the game, like, I don't know if you can see in the background, I don't know if it's covering it, okay, it's kind of covering it. Like the Yuletide Logger bundle right here, um, or the Yuletide Logger pack, uh, drops better energy gear by far, there's also the Green Warden set from the Weaver Horde pack, I don't know, it's from one of the War Horde packs, just look it up. Um, that gives really good energy gear as well, better than this gives. So if you want the guaranteed way to get it, that's a way to get um, that's a way to get energy gear. But I wouldn't recommend it. Um, in regards to the five thousand crowns, um, that's just kind of a side effect. Like it really isn't the most important part. None of the houses are really that cool. Um, I wouldn't say a lot of the mounts are very uh, are very cool, but some of them do give things like the Polarian Explorer bundle here, right? Right. The mount gives plus two damage, which you could want, which is one of the reasons why I've gotten that in the past. This gives a 50% speed boost mount. Some of them give two person mounts. So basically it just depends on what you want. But, um, you know, they get, they all give different things. The pets you probably aren't going to want because none of them are really that good. Um, so if you're going for a pet, I probably don't um, there are others that are probably look like it that you can just get in the game um, but that's not really all that there is um, obviously if you uh, if you're buying a bundle you probably are buying it I don't know why you're buying it maybe for the mount or the house or maybe the gear but probably not the gear or maybe just the crowns maybe just to have it honestly but another thing that comes with bundles that um, is pretty cool is the gauntlets. Now, gauntlets, you can see you can get the Doomsday Croc Gauntlet, the Sinbad Iron Gauntlet, the um, Cuckoo Clock Gauntlet. There's so many gauntlets on here, I'm not gonna list all of them. But basically what I'm saying is, is gauntlets are a pretty cool addition to this. Um, a lot of the older ones give a lot of XP, so if you wanna get some wizards up in level beyond where they are right now, that could be a good way to do it. Um, 
So, which ones would I recommend out of that? Definitely the, um, the, the Winterbane Gauntlet one is really good, the Spiral Cup Gauntlet, and also, um, is there one more, or is it just, the, the Pagoda Gauntlet gives some XP, but not as much, but these three in particular give a lot of XP, oh, and the, uh, Grand Tourney Gauntlet, wherever that is, um, uh, yeah, right here. Um, all of those give a lot of XP. I think the Fantastic Voyage also gives XP, but um, the Cuckoo Co Clock Gauntlet, the I almost just said Cock Gauntlet. That was that was something strange. The Cursed Play Gauntlet, um, and the Sinbad and Doomsday Croc. Those all don't give a lot of XP. So if you're looking for XP, those aren't the way to go. Um, you can obviously just find people in the commons that have these gauntlets and ask to use them. Honestly, that would be the preferred method rather than spending 40 bucks to do it. But um, if you were to buy a gauntlet, I would recommend those specifically. Um, those are probably quite a bit better than the other ones. Um, if you want to look like my fire, if you've ever seen my fire stitch and he looks cool, the robe is from the Atlantean bundle, so that's cool. Um, it's like probably one of the most unique stitches in the game because not a lot of people have the Atlantean gauntlet because it's very rarely on sale and also um, it's very not useful. I just bought it as a kid because it looked cool. Um, a lot of these, honestly, um, you're not gonna want to buy. Um, I know that this video has been a bit disorganized so far, but so let me let me let me sum it up right here and organize it for you. Gauntlets, do you buy? Yes or no? Probably no, most likely no. You're gonna get more more worth from actual crowns itself. Um, if you want gauntlets, go for the gauntlet bundles that I listed in the past. Um, definitely the Winterbane, the Fantastic Voyage, and the Spiral Cup, and the, the Tourney Gauntlet all give a lot of XP, some good gear as well. So if you want to, go for that. Um, those are pretty cool. Um, in regards to mounts, um, I know the Jewel Crafters Bundle mount gives 2% pierce, the, um, the, uh, what's the name of the bundle? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The... Polari the Polarian Explorers Bundle with the Battle Narwhal gives plus 2% damage, so obviously, you can get these if you want a two-person mount get one of the ones that say two-player blank mount um, Realistically, that's all the things you can want from a gala. So hopefully that's summed it up for you what you want what you should get um, Realistically, you probably don't want to buy one of these um, the $30 ones are probably more worth it than the $40 ones specifically um, like um, You know like these I wouldn't recommend getting but Definitely a, probably a little bit more bang for your buck. You're gonna get more stuff for only $30 like the mystic fishing bundle that could potentially be one to look out for the jewel crafters bundle is definitely one to look out for because that gives a 2% pierce mount um, Also, the hammer is one of the most crit items in the game if you want a lot of crit the shard warriors hammer um, does actually give uh, a lot of um, A lot of crit my fire used it for a little bit um because uh, it was just one of the most effective items to use. So, yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you kind of gathered something out of it. I'm sorry it was more disorganized. It's Christmas Eve. Um, I'm tired. I don't know what's happening. Uh, tomorrow's Christmas, so I hope uh, I hope you'll still watch my video then. If, and if you uh, don't because you have pre you're preoccupied, that's fine too. Uh, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Uh, have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.